Example 11.4. The total design and construction cost for a digester to handle a flow rate of half a million gallons per day was $1.7 million in 2000. Estimate the cost today for a flow rate of 2 million gallons per day. The exponent from slide 11-25 for the million gallons per day range of 0.2 to 40 is 0.14. The cost index in year 2000 of 131 has been updated to 225 for this year. There's three different um, can say elements that are given in this problem. We have dollars, so that means that we have a cost here. We have the indexes, just like uh, in example 11.2, but we have a new element which is million gallons per day. Okay. This million gallons per day is considered the capacity of the digester. Okay, so if you ever see, let's say, capacity, that means that you're going to be using the cost capacity equation to solve the problem. Okay, so the cost capacity equation falls under the cost estimating relationships and that's because these equations estimate the cost but it's based on design variables such as in this case capacity. This is the basic formula for the cost capacity equation and you're going to see that you have the cost over here and here you have the other one. The only difference here is that the subscripts are no longer not and t are 2 and 1. Subscript 1 would be the older one and subscript 2 would be the latest one. And then we have capacity uh, represented with the Q. Okay, same process, the two, Q2 is the newer one and then Q1 is the older one. But then we have another element right here which is an X we call this the correlating exponent. It says right here that if x equals to 1, that means that the relationship between the cost and the capacity is going to be linear. But if it's different from 1, I'll be focusing on the blue statement first. It says that if x is less than 1, we're going to have something called economies of scale. And over here in the third bullet point, it says that usually you will have an X that is less than 1 or even equal to 1. That means that it's a prediction that there are going to be economies of scale. This term is one of the main ones in economics in general. What does that mean? Whenever you have economies of scale, that means that the more you produce, the, I can say, the cheaper each unit is going to be. Okay, and that's mainly because the fixed cost would be distributed uh, between more units. We can have the exact opposite of this, which is the first bullet point, if x is greater than 1. In this case, we will have something called diseconomies of scale, which means that the more you produce, the more expensive each unit is going to become. There's many, many reasons for this to happen and it could be maybe that the company wasn't prepared uh, to grow that much. So after a certain production point, maybe there's lack of communication or the management is not doing its job, etc. And that's what causes the price of the unit to increase uh, when the production increases. But then again, usually it will be economies of scale. There is a table for X. That's the one that they talk about in the problem uh, on slide 11-25. You're going to see that in the first column you have the components. So in this case, we're going to look for the digester. Let me see, do we have a digester here? 
I do not see. Oh yeah, here it is. Aerobic digester. And then they give us the capacity. It's a range. That means that if you were to need an aerobic digester uh, from 0.2 to 40 million gallons per day, you're going to use 0.14 for your X. Same thing if you need a dryer, um, if you need a reactor, etc. So there's a, a bunch of components, systems, or plants here, and then the ranges, and then the corresponding exponents. If you, let's say that whatever you're looking for, you cannot find it in the table, or it hasn't been recorded anywhere else, the default will be 0.6. Okay, so you will always use 0.6 if you cannot find uh, that system or that piece of equipment uh, in one of these tables. Okay, so this is the basic equation, but in the problem we're given the index as well. There's a modification to this equation right here. And you may find that one on slide 11-27. So same equation, but they add the indexes from example 11.2. That just means that you are not only um, finding the cost capacity, but you're also uh, finding the change in capacity and price, but over time. Okay, so the index right here will uh, give you an adjustment for the time. So this is a formula that we will be using um, to solve example 11.4. Okay, so we have the, the, the problem right here. And then let me write down the formula. C2 will be equal to C1. And then the ratio in capacity, the exponent, be careful with the exponent because it only applies to this um, ratio right here inside the parentheses. And then you have the ratio for the indexes, IT over I naught. Just as a reference, if you add the index part of it, it's going to be the change in capacity and price, which is the cost capacity, but this is going to be over time. Okay. So now let's list everything we have. It says right here that the exponent x is equal to 0 0.14 here it's given, but if it wasn't given, then you just go to the table and look for the digester. Then we have the cost right here. This would be C1. Uh, it's going to be 1.7 million, because that happened in 2000, so it's the a subscript one. Then the corresponding capacity for the 1.7 a uh, million dollar is going to be 0 0.5 million gallons per day. And then along with these, you're going to have index not, which is the older index, 131. And then let me list the counterpart. We have C2. That's what we are looking for. Uh, so estimate the cost now, so this is going to be your unknown. Uh, we have Q2, okay, this is going to be 2.0 million gallons per day, and then we have the index T, which is 225. So then again, all of these right here are in year 2000, this is in 2000, 2000, and this is going to be now, now, 
and now. Okay, so we just plug in the values into the formula. So we're going to be solving for C2, but you may also solve for um, any other element here. It's 1.7 million. It's going to be 2.0 over 0 0.5 to the 0.14. And then the ratio, index ratio, it's 225 over 131. Solve for this, and again, remember this is the exponent for uh, this ratio right here in capacity. And once you solve for this, you're going to get 3,546,178 oh, 